uh, I just completed uh, the winter 2020 first part of the certification maintenance for the platform developer one um, I'll just show you I mean please do continue watching this video I'll show you you know what are the answers for those and in a short video of five minutes and you can finish it off in five minutes on the first section so please do subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon for the notification for more such videos I'll be posting it for all type of the certification it helps you a lot I mean it saves your time so please do subscribe and hit the bell icon I'll continue in this video to show you what are the right answers so that you can complete the first part successfully I'll be doing the second part of shortly so please do subscribe friends welcome back this new video is all about the new certification maintenance for the platform developer one for the winter 2020 release so what's new in this release so this is on the high level what all it contains and just high level easily find all the references that use custom field and understand the changes in what you know uh, excluded concurrent long running apex request and understand the way you can use the new apex setting metadata type and hide the default label from visual force page components in lightning app builder and check the custom object and setting count to see if you are approaching the limit okay let's go to the questions directly and then I can I'll show you where exactly is the answer is um, let me go to the challenge okay the first question is when including the visual force page component in the lightning page using lightning app builder which action hides the default label for the visual force page so I already selected the answer it's deselect the show label let me show you where it is uh, okay so hide the default label for the visual force page in lightning app builder and you can see a visual for force page showed the default label of the page in the component now the lightning app builder has the show label option so that you can use to hide the default label so there is a new option called show label option if you deselect that then it is selected by default as you can see here and to hide the visual force page you just deselect the show label option okay that is the answer for the first question and the second question is developer needs to make changes to the custom field associate and associated apex classes and triggers how can the developer quickly determine which apex classes and triggers used this field I think this has been added for the custom fields in this release and the answer is on the custom fields detail page click where this is used let's go ahead and find it if you go to this section here you can see you know to see uh, these are the list of the references it shows from the custom field detail page and to see uh, this you just have to go to the custom field detail page and click on this where is this used and you can get all the references which are listed here I mean references types so that is the answer and third question a developer is preparing to install manage package and that will create a several new custom object what should the developer do to understand how many objects can be created prior to reaching the allowed limit so the answer is look at the number of the custom objects and custom setting in system overview information so this is what has been newly introduced let's let me show you where it is so monitor your custom object and settings count in the system overview so here is the answer you can use the system overview to compare number of custom objects and settings that you have created against your total number of org and also in this winter release the limit has been extended from 2500 to 3000 okay let's go to the next question fourth question what apex settings metadata field enable serial execution of the apex test so this is enable disable parallel apex this is straightforward let me show you mm. so here you can see in this section um, where is it yeah use the enable disable parallel apex testing field to enable serial execution of apex test okay and that's what it is for the fourth and for the last one with the winter 20 release which type of the callout is now excluded from the concurrent long running request limit 
that is since apex code that sends HTTP request let's go ahead and find out that here it is so HTTP caller processing time is no longer included when calculating the 5 second limit so this will be paused when it's a HTTP request so that's the right answer let's go ahead and submit this let's see if I can clear this in the first attempt yes it is complete and I got 100 points so keep uh, you know do follow this video and this YouTube page I'll be posting the next video on the platform developer one then there is another part I'll be